What's up, Laker guys? Let's go for another dose of basketball gossip. The stop now is about our dream of having Chris Paul on the Los Angeles team. Masso, hang in there, who are saying that the Clippers are trying to meddle in this story. Take the opportunity to leave your like and activate the bell to be notified whenever you have news from your team. Here's the thing, it looks like the player won't end up wearing the Wizards jersey, despite having been part of the negotiation between the Suns and Wizards that brought Bradley Beal to the desert. As soon as the trade was announced, everyone was already speculating that the Lakers would be at the front of the queue if Chris Paul had a buyout. But, the rumors changed quickly. The Clippers showed up as an option in a possible exchange and suddenly became the main candidate to take the player. Second Brian the reporter ESPN's Windhorst on Tuesday's Get Up show, the Clippers are the most willing to acquire Chris Paul. What they have that the Lakers don't are a series of negotiable contracts. The owner of the Clippers, Steve Ballmer, loves to invest a lot of money in a moment that regularly ends up falling in the second round of the playoffs. You'll agree with me that it wouldn't be a good deal for the Lakers to give up their two possible unique contracts just to have a veteran point guard. If Paul ends up staying in Washington, Indiana this trade, the Lakers still have a chance because he would likely go through a contract release process. But if the Wizards front office insists on involving a third team in the play, the Lakers are definitely out of the game. That's it, my people. This Chris Paul soap opera is making waves, and the Lakers are getting a little left out. Let's closely follow the scenes of the next chapters and hope that the situation changes in our favor. Stay tuned, Lakers fans, this fight is on.